Actually, I went to I went, I went to the uh, the mushroom, the magic mushroom store, Shroomies across the street. Is that legal? Are you allowed to do that? I know in Toronto we try to be overly progressive, but I don't know if we're that progressive when we're just handing out mushrooms. I mean, you have to pay for it too. That's all I, th- I would like to add that back, uh, on the sign for the store. It says, "Come in and experience the new reality." I was like, if you if you wonder, the new reality also takes Visa and Mastercard too, so, or debit. <laughs> and uh, and yes, the level of customer service is just as shitty as any marijuana dispensary. So, uh, like, you're selling shrooms. What do you want? More uh, shrooms. <sighs> did uh, hey, did anybody sneeze into their mask over the pandemic? That, that was that was the shit your pants of uh, 2021, wasn't it? Something like I could sneeze into the old mask. Yeah. I uh, I am. Uh, Trying to take a little bit better care of myself. I'm a, I am on a, uh, a cleanse right now. But you know, vodka sodas. But you know, this is sorry. Did anybody get? Uh, did anybody get a little uh, gain any weight over the uh, pandemic? Anyone get a little fat? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I put on some pounds. I was eating chips and, and ice cream like it was the vaccine. It was like, oh, yeah, let's shove that shit right in my face. <laughs> it was funny. Um, I'm kind of getting to that point, though, where I'm getting out of the shower, I look at myself in the mirror, and I just go, this is going to have to do. That's it. I don't think this is getting any better. You know, I'm going to have to work on my personality more. <laughs> Read a fucking book or something. Uh, someone actually asked me once, if I had to describe my body in two words, what would it be? And my answer was, unemployed pro wrestler. That's what I was answering. Here he is, coming to the ring, weighing in at none of your business. I, uh, I, it's tough to uh, avoid sort of certain foods, you know, when you're locked up and you're quarantined, because uh, sugar, sugar and salt are like two of my biggest vices, right? And I don't know what, and uh, let's say, dude, dude, what's your name? Mike? Mike? Uh, how old are you, Mike? 45, right on, right? Uh, we're, we're relatively the same age, and uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you remember this, but like I remember growing up, and when they didn't tell you the amount of each ingredient that was in the foods that you were eating, right? They, they would tell you the ingredients, but they wouldn't tell you in each individual amount of that was in the food that you were eating, right? And so, like, when I was a kid, if you'd get a can of Coke, it would literally just say carbonated water, sugar, and then all the other crazy bullshit that's in a can of Coke. And then one day they decided, hey, let's start telling people the amount of sugar and salt and fats that are in the food that they're eating. So now, if you get a can of Coke, it literally says right on the side, sugar, 39 grams of sugar in one can of Coke. 39 grams of sugar, right on, man, 39 grams of sugar, right? But when I first read that, that blew my mind. I couldn't believe it, 39 grams of sugar. Because I'll be honest with you. I don't know exactly what a gram of sugar looks like, but I do know what a gram of cocaine looks like. And are you telling me that there's 39 little baggies in that one pan? That sounds like a lot. We should probably cut that down a little bit. Uh, you know, don't do cocaine. It is the worst drug ever. Holy shit. It is the worst drug I'll ever have yet, unless you have some. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <sighs> You know it's the you know you know that cocaine's the worst drug because nobody ever wants to share it. That's how you know it's the worst, right? It's not like smoking pot where someone's like, hey, let's go outside and smoke a joint. Yeah, me, wait up over here. You never have anyone who's like, hey, wanna go to the bathroom and watch me do a couple bumps so I won't shut the fuck up for the next three hours? <laughs> Sounds like a party. But uh, I made a promise to myself that I would only do cocaine on birthdays. <laughs> So is anybody celebrating a birthday here tonight? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And that's cool. I, I mean, it's, uh, my job as host of MC is to get to know you guys a little bit and ask if people are celebrating anything. And uh, I know I just mentioned birthdays. So we, do we have anyone celebrating anything? We have some birthdays, anniversaries, divorce, parole, blood tests, anything happening? Is this a birthday over here? <laughs> Walking through the sleepy city In the dark it looked so pretty Till I got to the one cafe 
that stays open.